What is up dudes, here is uh, Angry Grandpa, today we're gonna talk about Griffin 50mm uh, The tank itself um, and compare with others we're gonna speak in this video Like how it performs, um, how good it is, how to play with it and what it needs and what it lacks <laughs> So, uh, the tank has 65 damage with a 240mm penetration per one shot. It has a 17k damage per minute. This is not like you're gonna get 17,000 damage, like surely, on one minute. It's just um, facts, you know, it, it isn't the real shit. Uh, reloading time is quite fast as it's 0 0.6 seconds Burst of fire it is 1500 rounds per minute Camouflage is 38% While stopped is 46 View range is 430 um, Hit points 2250 Hull armor and turret and so on it isn't because so it's uh, AFB it isn't so impressive uh, mobility wise is 70 km an hour It hits uh, 32 km in 3.93 And it weights 40 tons Full travel speed is 37 Now when it comes to weapons Even though if you upgrade the tank or not And you put the last gun, let's say like this It doesn't have another better gun It has just this gun Just this ammo Nothing else uh, if you unlock, uh, despite other tanks like, let's say, Bradley or VBR. Um, the tank, it needs some upgrade, like tactical camouflage system. It's much better when you, you shoot and you get also camo, so the camo is not reduced. You need also some smoke grenades, because these are very useful. Uh, improved thermal sight, this is a good tank for spawning, guys. If you're not familiar with AVs or at least to play with them and you play PvE, PvP and so on what you, what you play and you don't do your job, your team can fail. Like, see this one. I failed because my Griffin was standing behind me and me being a TD, I didn't have the opportunity to go and, you know, and shoot something. So he was basically uh, getting damage on my spot. So if you have no idea on how to play an AV, please first learn and then get this tank. Don't get to this tank immediately, because otherwise you're gonna suck. It isn't easy to play as an AV. You have some certain duties uh, that some tanks cannot have, and uh, you need to be very fast and to take imp important uh, decisions before you do something. You know, you have to take your like your life in your own hands. Um, so the gun doesn't come with, let's say, if you upgrade uh, with ATGMs like Bradley or VBR. When it comes to damage per minute, uh, this tank can do 17,000 to 400 uh, damage per minute. Bradley can do 15,000 and the VBR can do 5,000. So he is the highest AV when it comes to damage per minute. But... Keep in mind, this is the damage per minute done by the only gun that it has. If you compare this tank with this tank and the other ones, uh, shooting in, in a few seconds, let's say 480 GMs from this one, and continue with the machine gun to shoot, the damage can be over 5000. It can be 17000 as the Griffin or 15k like the Bradley. Um, if I if I would like to compare Bradley and VBR to Griffin, I would say that Bradley is much tougher. It's a tank that can pound and can sustain some damage and can get some ricochets. However, Griffin doesn't always. I get sometimes some bounces, but it isn't like one of the best, let's say, armor-like tanks. Uh, the upper plate is 256, the lower plate is 105, the turret is the same like the lower plate, the sides 
you're quite much more weaker and um, usually you're gonna get like some crew members knock out if you get hit by an LPGM or by a hash, by a HEP, by a um, let's say a rocket, I don't know something like high explosive you're still gonna get very very injured uh, from them um, mobility wise as I said it's mobile as Bradley not very mobile as VBR because VBR is uh, basically a Humvee with rocket launchers and a machine gun and um, the playstyle it's different because this tank uh, it's quite tall and let's say if you can compare it with uh, Bradley as you see right now um, the tank itself it, it is tall like Bradley but it doesn't have some ATGMs which can you know overcome that height if you understand what I mean like okay this tank is tall but it has ATGMs which it helps the tank itself it doesn't have just machine guns like uh, I don't know warrior when it's stock or some other tanks you know so the tank is tall also and the gun every time you want to go over a hill up to the point where you're gonna take out your gun the enemy it's gonna hit you here in this area which is very easily to be penetrated uh, it can be very easily damaged and uh, every time your view viewports commando hatch and all of that shit it's basically jammed um, by any shell that comes uh, rarely as I said you get some ricochets but there's a like RNGs uh, with you you know it's like RNGs is with you so we're gonna go ahead and play a battle um, let's play um, a special mission and here we're gonna try to do as much damage as we can but also to defend uh, I have equipment as survivability kit which ramming damage Damage to crew and damage to internal components is minus 37% And I have camouflage factor because the tank is quite huge for an AV and um, It has a plus 8% when you stand or move um, Yeah, so the tank itself uh, in my opinion in my eyes to say from now uh, I was hyped also to get this tank, but the moment you fight against some other tanks that cannot be penetrated by 240 millimeter rounds, small AP rounds, um, let's say if you have in front of you a Challenger, a tier 9 and 10, if you have a Leopard, if you have a Poland, if you have, um, I don't know, a T15, T14 Armata, a Terminator even, and you cannot penetrate him frontally on the lower plate and so on, you are completely toasted because you can't use any ATGMs. You don't have some, uh, you don't have free guns like it has um, the BMBs at tier seven and uh, or Dragoon. You know, it, it is very, um, to speak the least, it isn't one of the best, you know, AVs when it comes to fully AV tank. It doesn't have that. So. When you go into the fight, try to aim uh, enemies or Defense targets in on the Lions HQ. that, right. let's back. say, are easy to be penetrated and fast kill because you just have a 0 0.60 second to reload. Try not to be very aggressive with him, even though you know that your gun can do a lot of damage. You know, try not to do that. Um, so let's uh, do this. Even though it has 204 millimeters, can still do some uh, dings, some ricochets, some no penetration rounds. So when you're facing, let's say, AVs, light tanks, some mediums, uh, low tier mediums, and so on, try to hit your turret or the the um, connection between the turret and the chassis, which is very low sometimes, like uh, up to 200 armor. So you see that I right now I'm spotted this tank, even though others didn't saw it. Um, We've arrived, commencing the assault. So one is right like, here. Target eliminated. 
So right now we are quite alone. Uh, Griffin and PLZ89 went there. Me and uh, Zuba PSP, the premium one that uh, get it from missions, uh, is coming back with me in this area. So we can't do much more than this. That's all of them? Okay. So this is how you play with this tank, especially on this map. Don't try to be very aggressive. As you saw, I got a bounce. A lucky one in this area. Uh, which uh, I think it's, it needs uh, more like uh, of a... I think it was uh, an AP or normal AP round, cheap one. But it doesn't matter. So as I said guys, you don't need to play very aggressive. You see that Griffin, uh, the other Griffin play very aggressive. And the damage I put out, it isn't the same as his. So you have to play smart. You have to know where to aim, who to aim, to get maximum uh, maximum damage with low efforts, basically. So um, let's see where is that spot. I think it's in front of me, but I cannot see it. So now I'm going to show you where to sit with this tank on this map especially. Where you can do um, decent damage. Uh, too bad this tank lacks um, override. Which uh, is a need sometimes to some tanks. So you can do, do, do some damage or uh, uh, not damage. Much more speed. So here is the position where I sit. I let the AT, the the damn AI to come to show me his rear, his sides, and then I shoot him. If I try to shoot him frontally, just the lower plate. And if it's on the move, sometimes it bounces. So I let it come towards me, so that I can have a better view, so I can do much more damage. That's basically like this. Some players try to do this. This is not useful, guys. Try to shoot constantly if you see the target, don't try to do like just one shot, one shot, one shot. And if you see like a tank that it's turning his hole towards you, try to hit the tracks so you stop him from going forward. Also from turning towards you so you don't have any more penetration um, opportunities, you know. So let's see this. I got a rocket. Usually, this is happening right now from uh, the ATGMs and from all, all of them AIs. That's one of those um, magnetic ATGMs. <laughs> so, I think that right now we just like a few tanks, and uh, yeah. That's uh, spotted by the other Griffin. So as you see right now we hit over 10k damage. I do this guys. Why well, you gonna see in the end? Uh, because some tanks can go get behind this and you cannot be uh, sure to uh So I spotted that one even from Man, if he will just 
sits tight and you know in in his own corner would be nice. So this guy is in front of me and he can see the other tank. This is means guys to have uh, no Identify. PC. See? Front this is man, this guy is really out of this. I'm gonna leave him here because I think this is the only damage he can do and I need to defend the train. Um yeah. So this is basically guys how to use the tank as you saw I tried the terminator um, stop him from moving hit the lowest weak points trying to just uh, stop him from going forward and uh, that's all he needs. So I'm looking now on the map. No pen. I give him a nice uh, smoke. I'm gonna get one shot. No. Let's try for 15 kills, guys. Well, not so much. Seems like no one gives me the kills. <coughs> Well, 14 kills, no one is very, they say, uh, friendly or, uh, you know, it is like this sometimes in this game. Um, so this is how you play with the tank, even though we didn't got the 15 kills, uh, we managed to do 14 kills and I think I'm the top damage, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so let's see the game results now. So we got 17,623 damage, 14 kills, enemy spotted 6. We got a medal which is charge and a teamwork. We didn't obtain the top damage because this tank, uh, Griffin, in the beginning of the fight, he was in front of the uh, enemies when in the first um, <coughs> mission and um, he spotted some tanks and he got assistance from uh, PLZ that's why but it doesn't matter guys it's just uh, the main gun itself as you want to see if the tank is good uh, in my opinion it isn't the best AV in my eyes the best AVs are these two DB or Bradley if I will say like a top 1, 2 and 3, I will say number 1 will be BBR, number 2 will be Bradley, number 3 will be Griffin. Up to my standards of gameplay and uh, aggressiveness and mobility and all kinds of those stuffs. But because look at this tank. BBR, even though it's not fully upgraded, the tank still has some buffs in the end. Um, and Bradley. The tank is fully upgraded since it was my first AV at tier 8 and the only tier 8 that I had in, in the first time. Uh, when you upgrade this tank and you put the ATGM launcher, the game is different. Um, you play different, very aggressive. And if you put also the armor on the tank, it's much more like a better warrior. With Griffin, as I said, if you put the guns, it doesn't. Um, Try not to be very aggressive with the tank, try to be very mischievous, uh, like a fox. Um, 
not uh, tank uh, uh, an animal. Uh, try to uh, know the map, to learn the maps, try to uh, know the better positions where you can shoot with this gun without being spotted. Try to put some equipment on the tank, it helps a lot. And um, it really needs some of these unlocked from other tanks which is much better if you want to shoot faster and reload faster and so on or get better camo better repairing and so on but I use uh, electrical optical absorbing paint V2 and uh, survivability kit 2 which it helps the tank to not get very injurely injured by um, ATGMs, high explosive rounds, hip rounds, hash rounds and so on with this being said, dudes, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, review and uh, this gameplay-wise. Yeah, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and I'm gonna catch you on the live stream.